What's up, everybody? Today we're addressing uh, the question that I get quite often, which is where my energy comes from. And in a moment, we're going to take you deep into the Driscoll family kitchen. But I want to preface that uh, clip by just sharing that the nutrition piece is one piece of where I feel my daily energy comes from. I feel like the five pillars of health, nutrition, sleep, exercise, mindset, and connections, relationships with other people, um, really is a combination of where one's energy comes from. So if we're having a high level of nutrition, staying hydrated, eating whole foods, um, we're prioritizing sleep, we're exercising in a way that is enjoyable and sustainable, and we're blocking out negativity in our life, and really focusing on the people that bring us the most amount of joy, trust, loyalty, and enjoyment of spending time with. Um, I think that's where energy comes from, from someone's life. But uh, I'm going to show you where I think, where my day starts, and where the foundation of much of my energy comes from physiologically to start the day. Welcome to the Driscoll Family Kitchen. Uh, it is our second snow day in a row here in Vermont. And I was eating my breakfast this morning. And I had a little extra time as there is no school today. And I got to thinking about probably the question that I get the most often during the school day is, Mr. D, how do you have so much energy? And I think I kind of attribute that to three things. One is uh, a level of gratitude to focus my mind on more on what it is that I have that I'm grateful for rather than what it is that I don't have that I want. Second would be I really prioritized sleep in the last six months of my life, um, getting a good pre-bedtime routine, going to bed on time, and going to bed at the same time regularly has been really, really helpful. But I think uh, one of the aspects of my life that really helps me sustain energy throughout the day from the moment I walk into school uh, throughout the rest of the day is a high-quality breakfast. And um, this has kind of evolved from being in college and eating bowls and bowls of Lucky Charms for breakfast to slowly making healthier changes to healthier changes over time. And I think that uh, where I'm at right now with my breakfast is the best it's ever been. So I was halfway through my breakfast and I realized it'd be a good, good opportunity for me to show y'all uh, what my breakfast looks like. So I eat this breakfast six days a week. It changes a little bit on Sundays, but this is pretty much what I eat every morning for breakfast. Start off with my plate here. Um, something I've been working on is eating vegetables with every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So here I have a half an avocado, two eggs, a handful of spinach, and some broccoli slaw, which is simply chopped up broccoli, carrots, and um, cabbage. And I also have a bowl of oatmeal with raisins and berries, and I usually mix it in with some cinnamon and just water. And my shake consists of uh, banana, water, kale, cherries, and blueberries. And that's just kind of like a frozen mix that I buy at the store. So I consume um, a good portion of my day's calories at breakfast to help me sustain the rest of the day. And I feel great all throughout the day. Um, my, lun my lunch is similar in macronutrient breakdown, which means the proteins, the carbs, and the fats are kind of the same uh, percentage as they are in the breakfast, but I'm not going to uh, dive too far down that rabbit hole. But I really believe in the quality of a, or I really believe in the power of a high quality breakfast, which for me is 100% uh, 100, 100 whole foods. So be grateful, get sleep, and have an awesome breakfast. And enjoy your snow day, everybody in Vermont, New Hampshire today.